All right, guys, we're here with Dominic. Dominic is also known on the forums and all around the web as Hydra. Uh, he is actually the father of Clean Flight. Everybody runs Clean Flight on their mini quads and their racing drones, and this guy is the guy who actually created it. I'm very honored to be in your presence, Dominic. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And uh, Dominic just showed me this little piece of uh, hardware right here, and it, it looks really similar to what we see, but tell me about this. Tell me what differentiates from so, what we actually have in the market. So at the moment, you've got the, the Naze board that's out there, which has got the old processor on it, the F1 right. processor. Okay. This one's got the same clock speed as the old one, but it gets more done in the same time. So, so it's like a 32-bit, but it's... No, it's the same 32-bit, same, 32 -bit, uh, okay. same 72 megahertz, but it's got a floating point unit on it, which means it's way better at doing math calculations. Okay, okay. It runs the rest of the code quicker, so what that means is the loop times are more stable. Okay. So you get consistent. Um, uh, you don't have any lag and things loops. like that. Total loop iterations. Yeah. Very so cool. And this is something that you've better. designed, and this is going to be something yep. produced by you and and uh, actually sold by you as well too. Yep. So cool. I started designing this in uh, November, I think it was okay. last year, and I was working with some people. Uh, got the circuit board design sorted out, did all the software Very sort of cool. things, prototyping it on my desk at home back in the office. <laughs> and, uh, back yeah. in those UK, uh, those. Yeah. Rainy yeah. nights yeah. and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we take a closer yeah. look at it here? So I'm looking at it here, and it looks like there's a little uh, chrome device under here with a couple holes in there. I'm assuming that's a barometer. That's the barrier yeah. for the uh, altitude hole yeah. and things like that. And it's specifically mounted on the bottom of the board as well, so that when you sandwich it in there, uh, and there you can basically put the foam in there. As exactly. Well if you want to use the old hold stuff to keep the yeah, uh, prop the wash. Simple. So there's no trying to get a piece of foam on the top of the nail. Exactly. Board with, yeah. Yeah. Trying to throw a zip tie over. over. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We totally simple, understand. Yeah. And I've noticed that you've got the PWM pins on here as well, but uh, you've also got their little breakout cables. Is this yep. for utilizing either or? Um, no, so they're different functions. So these are the outputs. Okay. And these are the inputs. Okay. Um, so you can have eight PWM in and eight PWM out. So if you want to, you can run uh, an octo. octo -copter right, which, which we haven't seen. You can have seen. a hex with a pan and tilt. Okay. Or you can do an X8 mini. I'm going to be building one of those very soon. Cool, yes, I'm very building cool. a 180. X8 combo. That's going to be really be insane, yeah. Very, very cool. I wish I had it time for this. But, oh, no, yeah. that's, that's totally that's awesome. Amazing. Um, does this one also have... So this would be considered like the full board with the magnetometer also yeah, built in and everything. Board, yeah. And uh, there's not going to be any other iterations of this, no, say, there's, like there's, an Acro? There's or? two, yeah. So I've, I've got a couple with me that are hiding around somewhere. Okay, no worries. But the, the Acro one doesn't have the barrel on the bottom okay. and it doesn't have the mag on it okay um, but it does have on both versions of the board the acro and the full version it has the uh, black box flight logging oh very uh, cool i well. just read about that tell me a little more yeah. about that black box so, so this is the black box flight log so oh, i was awesome. with, with p shaw earlier and we were doing a little bit of testing on this cod to see what the what it looks like because he hasn't seen this before either and this is an example play oh that's of, awesome of you so you got a play-by-play -play of yeah. what he was doing exactly. your attitude the motor speed Yep. That is really so cool. We were running through a series of tests. So, so this will actually help a lot of the new beginner guys yeah. that are getting in there and they have these last, you know, crashes and things like that. They can see what they did wrong yeah. or if they see that, hey, you know, I'm pushing this thing really hard, really forward. Uh, maybe I should start doing maybe forward tilted motors or different configurations with their quadcopter. And they could also yeah. help out with seeing if they're having like power exactly, failure, yeah. if like their center of gravity is off and it's causing yeah. the front motors to work harder than the rear. Exactly. So this is, a, this is a really good example of why this tool is very useful. So what we can see here is this is the gyro readings coming from it after a badly tuned. Okay. And you can clearly see that there's the, the roll axis. The oscillation is coming on the roll axis. Okay. Normally you're flying it about, you're trying to tune it. You can hear there's an oscillation, but you've got right. no idea whether it's pitch or roll. So you got to right. Right. Or, or you're, yeah. yeah. So you're sitting there guessing, trying to poke new Figure out what it is, it. yeah. You do the flight logging on the, on the back. Oh, that's stuff. awesome. You play it back and you can just see the oscillations there. You go, okay, I need to reduce my P roll values. <laughs> oh, and epic. It just that's makes awesome. tuning so, so much easier. That's exactly what I was going to say. It makes tuning so much simpler. And it also opens it up for the new guys getting in and they're having these frustrations like, hey, what am I doing wrong? What can I do to fix it? And then they always got to you know, jump in and ask the help of the seasoned pilots, things like that. A lot of those guys, you know, we're really busy. We try to do our best to help out. But this will basically put people in self-reliance. Yeah. Very cool. So Very cool. You can see the effects of your tuning. Very cool. Well, um... We, we love having you. We love uh, having you give us a quick interview. Um, we really appreciate your work in the community. We know that you've done probably a lot of the, uh, I would say, the the heavy digging. Yes. I mean, everything's been there, but you've done a lot of the heavy digging, and now everybody's there to help you with the refining and things like yeah. that. Um, so one last and now question. I'm totally overloaded with it. Exactly. As well. I got one yeah. last question for you. Do you sleep? 
Uh, not a lot. Okay. No. Uh, this morning I, I, I was imagine. up at four o'clock to get here. Jeez, so, yeah, that's what I yeah. I'm like, oh. Gosh, Dominic, thank you so much for no uh, being awesome. on our show. Thank, thank you so much. Nice to meet you, sir. And uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Getting the good people together and knowing who's best in doing what, taking what the math gurus produce, right. sanitizing, right. making it so that other math gurus can understand their code and they don't have to sit there and decode it, as it were. Exactly. And they can understand it, work on it, and then you get a bunch of people all talking together, and that's the goal of it. Exactly. Like allowing them to communicate the in the form the of the maths and the code as well. And Very cool. Very awesome.